All right, for the curious among you, I'm going to show you how I uh, apply the solder paste to the circuit boards before we put it on the hot plate. So this is a solder stencil that I'm going to use. This is a giant one. Uh, a lot of you are probably familiar with small ones like this. Um, this company just happens to give us large ones. And what I've done is I've actually used double-sided masking tape, and I've taped down these little circuit boards that I happen to have, and these are half normal thickness of a normal circuit board. And I use that to align my circuit board that I'm going to apply the solder paste to. So I put that on there. I lay it down. I make sure I don't see any green through the mask, which I don't. Then I'll put the solder paste, a big blob line of it here, and then I'll use the solder paste a squeegee hold my hold the stencil down to the, the wood backing so it doesn't slide and slide the paste across and that'll apply the paste and then you gotta carefully pick this up and you can pull the completed part out and then put the components in place put it on the hot plate and go from there so I'll show you this as a process so we have that in place and now we'll put some solder paste on it And the solder paste that I'm using here is a 138C melt. Okay, and I want to go where the, the head of it is, which is right about here. And I want to make sure I put enough down where it'll make it into every crevice. You need to go wider than your design, too, in case the solder paste walks. Now, whatever solder paste you put down, just be, know that you're going to throw all that away. Because once you're done with it, it's no good. You don't want to save it. Now, if you're doing multiple boards, you can just pull it back and use it again for the next circuit board. But if you're only doing one, plan on throwing whatever is left over away. When you're done with it, make sure you put you know put all the plugs in it and then put it in a plastic bag so it doesn't dry out. It, it will dry out. The solder itself doesn't dry out, but the paste will dry out. So what I'm going to do is I put my hand down to hold the stencil to the wood back so it doesn't slide. And I'm just going to firmly pull it across. And I'll do it one more time just to make sure we're in there. Looks pretty good. We can change the angle, angle it down a little and make sure we get enough in there. There, I think that's good. We'll pull it out and have a look. Pick this straight up. Actually looks pretty good. Looks like it's right on all the surface mount parts where we want it to be. Now we'll put the parts in and then we'll put it on the hot plate and do the next step.